I've applied my foundation and concealer. Now I'm just going to highlight and contour, which is what I would normally do anyway. I have done a video on this, on my previous, my updated foundation routine. But I'm going to show you how I incorporate the banana powder in this routine. It's pretty much the same thing, it's just different powder. So in that video I actually used my Coastal Scents Camouflage Palette. But I'm going to use a different concealer for this, for my under eye. I'm using the... Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade 30. This is a liquid concealer so it's a lot easier for me. I find that this dries up really quickly and I'm, I'm used to using more liquid concealers than cream concealers. So I'm just going to dot it in the areas where I'm going to conceal, just like that. I'm going to use my fluffy blending brush and just going to blend that out. And highlighting on your eyes just gives you that bright under eye look. This is a light to medium coverage concealer so I feel like I do have to build it up as well. As you can see it was already looking brighter under my eyes. And I take it down the bridge of my nose as well because this is going to help with my nose contouring. I also take it down my nose. And I'm just going to use my fingers for this. This is also to highlight the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to use my brush. And then a little bit on my forehead. The lighting is making it look quite bright, but I'm hoping you can see it. And then I'm just going to blend that out as well. So now I'm going to use my banana powder, my Ben Nye banana powder, to set my under eye concealer. This is quite a light powder, it's quite yellow, so, but it all depends on how you blend. It can definitely be used for darker skin tones like me, and even if you're darker like an NW50. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I do that, it's pretty much the same way. I'm using this brush, this is like a flat concealer brush, I think it's a synthetic brush, the name is rubbed off so I can't show you, just like that and I'm just going to pat that under my eye, you can see it's quite a light powder but don't get scared, it's all going to be blended out as well, so I'm just patting that in like a V shape. Do the same on the other eye as well. I'm taking it down the side of my nose and in the corners of my nose as well. Like I said, this is going to help with my nose contouring. I prefer using a brush than the that sponge thing because the sponge, it sort of puts on too much product on my face but I can control the amount of product I use if I use a brush so a flat brush like this would be quite good it looks obviously too light but don't worry and I'm just going to take it down the bridge of my nose as well And then my forehead. So basically where I would basically where I would get shiny, I'm just gonna pat that in like that. As you can see my nose is already getting quite slim lined even before I've contoured, but that's the magic of taking the powder really close to the sides of your nose it begins to shape your nose before you even contour like I don't even need to contour but I will do so anyway just going to wipe off the excess so this is what it would look like without any blending so now you're going to have to bring back the warmth to your face you know using your powder I'm using my 
Minimalized Skin Finish by MAC in Dark Deep. So you can tell that it's really light, it's a really harsh um, light area of my face. I'm going to blend that with the rest of my fa um, rest of my powder. So I'm taking this large powder brush by Sigma and I'm going to apply it in between the light concealer and my you know foundation like so and this is just going to blend it's just going to blend that lighter area I don't know if you can see that I'm going to do the same on the other side as well Now I'm just going to add some dimension to my face, so that's where the contouring comes in. So you're going to contour to bring back the shape of your face and also it kind of warms it up as well. So I am contouring with the Sleek Face Contour Kit and I'm using the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm just going to squeeze the brush like this and apply it to the sides of my face. I don't know if you can see that already, it's sort of giving that line. And then I can blend it. Just keep blending till you get your desired effect because you don't want it to look because you don't want it to look too harsh. Squeezing the brush and then I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to do it really, really faintly because you don't want it to look too harsh. Um, I've already used this brush before, so I'm just going to go back using that brush. And I'm just going to trace it down the sides of my nose. And it's really good to use an angle brush because it helps to sort of fit in the corners of your eyes and then down your nose. So I tend to use it so I tend to use an angle brush and also a fluffy angle brush because it helps to blend it while you're creating that contour line. So I'm just taking that down the bridge of my nose. And then just blending it like that, just sort of feathering it out like so creating more of a shadow so just to make my contour line a lot more defined I'll go back with my powder and using a different brush squeezing the brush and just applying that and then just applying it underneath your line, your contour line. And it would sort of highlight under the line as well, but also make your contour line more defined. This is optional, but I like to do this for extra warmth and just to um, highlight that the area of my forehead and make the middle of my forehead more obvious I would use my bronzer just to apply to my, the top of my forehead so 
So I have to take it down with my temples as well. This is the Covergirl bronzer, an ebony bronze if you don't already know. And it's a lot more um, warmer than the Sleek Face Contour Kit. So I wouldn't use the contour kit around my face because it's a lot harsher. This is a lot more softer. So that's pretty much it. That's how I use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. It shouldn't look scary to you. I know Kim Kardashian uses this shade. So you probably think for people with dark skin, this won't suit them, but it really does. It depends on how you use it, how much you use and how you blend it with the rest of your face. So I would recommend this as well. I find that this is a lot, this um, goes on my face a lot more smoother and finer, if that's a word, than my um, Topaz. Just to show you Topaz side by side in terms of the shades. As you can see, Topaz is a lot more closer to my skin tone than banana powder would be. But like I said, you can still use this if you're my skin tone or even darker. It's just how you apply it. So, yeah. So I hope this is helpful. This is just basically another contour and highlighting video. But I hope this is helpful for those of you who were considering getting the banana powder but thought it might be too light. You can definitely work with it. So give it a try and let me know if, you, if it works for you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.